Anna Johnson loves to make music. Sensual, elegant yet sassy, the classically trained violinist Joanna Johnson dazzles audiences with her music. Known as the Soul Stringer, Joanna is well respected by fellow musicians and is working diligently to carve out a solo career. So uh, tell me, how long have you been playing the violin? Oh wow, I probably should have counted that. Um, 30, uh, about 31 years. My parents tell me that as a very young child, I always said I wanted to play the violin. I have to play the violin. I want to play the violin. And they bought me one. And I have to say that first day was probably the most interesting day <laughs> of their lives. <laughs> um, I played all day long. They begged me to go to bed that night. I didn't want to go to bed. I didn't want to stop playing. They said, just give it a rest. You know, it'll be here tomorrow. And eventually I did go to bed. She's a very, very, very hard worker. She will practice for eight, nine, 20 hours a day. And no matter when you call her, you hear a violin in the background. So that's just pretty, pretty amazing. I stopped playing as an adult, you know, uh, life, motherhood. You know, you kind of come away from music, and I did for quite some time. I stepped away from music for probably 15 or more years. And then one day, it was just like, okay, you know what makes you happy. You have to do what makes you happy. And I got back into it, especially watching my children grow up, my sons beating on pots and pans and the walls and the tables, my daughters just singing all over the place and dancing. I say, you know what, I have to keep this musical thing going. So. I got back into it, but not from a symphony standpoint. It was more so of a solo thing, but I didn't think I would be able to pull it off because again, I'm painfully shy. <laughs> As a musician, it was her passion for music. I was surprised to see that she was interested in switching from her classical background, going into jazz. I was like, really? She's like, yeah, I want this. And it was the passion and, and the diligence and I was just like, oh my God, I gotta do everything I can to assist her. Yes, you, you have to have that drive and that determination that Joanna has, quite clearly. Because um, I've seen her jazz playing go from this to, <laughs> it's amazing. And in such short time, she's gone from uh, traveling, doing her thing musically, and, and it's just it's amazing to see her progression. We talk music so much. <laughs> Music, 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 music. But while all great musicians are said to suffer for their art, Joanna has some additional challenges that make her success and career all the more incredible. That happened during my downtime of music, um, during those 15 or so years when I was working and being a mom and trying to care for a family. Um, I, I believe it was around 2001, um, I got to the point where um, through all of 2000 and part of 99, I literally had the flu for two years, it seemed. And I was a person who was never sick, ever. I never had to go to the doctor, never had a problem, barely caught a cold. And I had the flu for two years. So I was repeatedly at the doctor, repeatedly taking antibiotics, repeatedly, you know, all the things that they try. We're going to test you for mono, we're going to test you for this, and nothing. And at one point, I lost the use of my left arm. And the pain was so intense that I literally wanted to cut my arm off. After much testing, Joanna was told she had lupus. But once they looked in the right place, all the flags were there. They knew right away that this was definitely an autoimmune disease with inflammation, and uh, they were able to attack that head on. Uh, strangely enough, uh, there is a very long history of autoimmune disease in my family. Um, there are a lot of uh, different autoimmune disease. No one has uh, maybe the same one, but there are quite a few relatives with sarcoidosis, uh, quite a few with polymyositis. Um, I've had uh, cousins pass away from ITP. Um, you know, there is uh, rheumatoid arthritis a whole lot of insulin-dependent diabetics, and these are all, you know, the autoimmune things. I mean, for years they were like, oh, she's gonna be a diabetic, because my grandmother was a diabetic. Everybody always associated me with her. You look just like your grandmother, you know. 
So they just assumed that I would have that. Nobody had lupus. Nobody expected that one. I don't even think I thought about the violin at that point. Um, I honestly could tell you I was so terrified. Um, I was a lot heavier than um, I could barely walk. You know, my it really was so painful for me to put my feet on the floor to get out of bed and to actually stand on my legs. You couldn't pay me to do it. It was, the pain was excruciating. I felt like both of my legs were gonna snap at the knees. At that point, my children are predominantly with my mother or you know, someone's helping me out because I, I can't be a parent at this point. I can't even get out of the bed. So, you know, there were some very dark days. I will have to admit to that because you just don't know what to do at that point. You know, being young and, you know, on summer days, you can't come out because as soon as you come out, the sun is literally zapping you of every ounce of energy you thought you had. And in the winter, it's so cold, you know, you can't bear the cold. I think the medication played a, a big role for a long time. Um, and then I got to the point where the medication wasn't helping me as much. And I'm, I, you know, I don't know what snapped in my head, but something said, you know, you're young and you're on all this medication. Y your body can't handle this. So I started talking to my doctors. Look, we have to find something else. We have to do something else. I, I need to do something. And that is when I started trying to eat healthier, get the weight off, exercise. The exercise did actually calm me, calm my spirit a lot. So um, I was able to come off quite a few of the medications, um, eventually to none. Um, and not necessarily by choice because I started to have other health issues. It, it wouldn't be fair if I said that, you know, I just pushed and I was superwoman and everything was good. No. It was very hard. It was very dark a lot of days. Then the need to make music re-entered Joanna's life. And um, I started looking for ways to find joy. And that's when music popped back up again. There was a, someone I knew that lived in uh, Atlanta. And she said, have you heard of this violinist? And I'm like, what violinist? And she told me. She said, you should come out with me. Let's just go see him. And so I went out and I saw this violinist and he was so energetic. He was all over the stage with this violin. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> wait a minute. This is what I've wanted to do my whole life. I can do this. And so while Joanna has lupus, she works hard so that lupus doesn't have her. She shares her gift of making music with the world and focuses on the positive things in her life. You really give a large part of yourself. Uh, when you're in front of a stage, people don't realize how challenging they could be. There are a lot of aspects, the technical aspects that go into it. The harmony, rhythm, melody, it's a lot of things that you're thinking about. Intonation, it's a lot. I know that my goal is to touch at least one person in that audience and to give them what music has given me over the years. When I do play, I do play from the heart. It comes from a, a very deep place and um, you know, I don't think about being nervous or anything else. It's just desperately wanting to give someone that joy, that peace, that comfort, whatever it is for them, that happiness, whatever emotion they needed to be right there. It's just want, really wanting to give that. As a friend, she is, hmm, she's a friend. She's very honest. She's very giving. She is, uh, she's very committed to the things she believes and she walks that walk. You don't just talk it. You know, when, once you have a friend in Joanna, you have a friend for life. So I love that very much.